Good morning, guys. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 2. AKA Day 1. Don't confuse me. Oh, I already wow. know it's gonna be confusing. We literally just woke up. Um, I'm getting <laughs> started filming a lot more with my makeup on. I mean, with, my, with no makeup on. And the other day I was like, I wonder how long it's been since I've not worn makeup. And I went to like put makeup on and my beauty blender was completely like bone dry. And I was like, oh, it's, it's been a minute. I'm gonna show you guys these jammies on. I have a cardigan on over them, but they're just like a little tank top. Did you come out here and turn the heat up one? Yes, because it's December. I did. I didn't ask what month it was. I didn't ask what day of the week it was. He got, you, you know, he got that from me. He got that sass, that statement from me. I'll link the Jamie's below. But this whole, I didn't ask you what day. He used to go, I'd go, I'm so hungry. And he'd go, it's only 5.30. And I'd go, I didn't ask what time it was. So now he's copied me, copycat. And I'll be like, yeah, it's December. And he'll be like, I didn't ask you what month that was. Okay. Well, it's December and it's cold outside. So I don't know what you want from me. Anyway, the jammies are cute. We um, have a lot to do today for like my main channel, my blog photos. I have not, I have not shot blog photos in like three weeks probably. Um, was the 10th of November. Do you remember? Do you That's remember? one, two, three weeks. Oh, Oz was playing. Three weeks. Holy cow, it's been a hot minute since Oz was playing. I still get some questions about my um, engagement ring. It's so many to the point that like, it, if something ever changes with my engagement ring, if I stop liking it, if it breaks, I will let you guys know. Um, because I get a lot of requests for like, make an updated ring video on your ring. And I'm like, no, it's, I feel exactly the same about it as I did three years ago when I first got it. Uh, fun fact, in on December 3rd, tomorrow, it will be three years since Sam asked me to marry him. Isn't that crazy? But. I have to clean my ring. Has not had a bath in probably three months. It has been so long. Oh, I just went and put the soap up. Just using regular Dawn dish soap and a little kid's princess toothbrush. I've showed you guys before. One of my friends who used to work in a jewelry store told me this. She said this is all that they ever use. Okay, and it's like soaking wet. So you just shake it off, and I just take a Oh, so pretty. Look at her all shiny. Beautiful. Yeah, that's just how I do that. Very quick, very easy. I haven't done it in a few months and probably won't do it for a few more. these leaves oh my goodness I love it all the leaves got on my white Jesse James Stucker just fab boots my um top does not match the bottom because I we have to put this in the mail I um the first outfit I'm shooting is only from the waist up but I mentioned 
in an earlier part of this vlog that it has been, watch out for the chairs, three years on December 3rd that Sam and I, I guess, what would you say that it, since we've been engaged, but that sounds like we're still engaged. Yes, since Sam proposed. It's been three years since Sam proposed, which is like mind blowing, is it not? It's not like it's been that long. No, it just feels like, I don't know. It feels like it's been like, I could, I would definitely say it feels like it's been like a year, not three. Three years. I'd love to know how much they would sell me that car. So yeah, just three years, it's been so crazy. Um, I don't know if we have ever even mentioned the, we really need a gimbal tripod for car rides. Um, I don't know if we've ever mentioned the whole engagement story, but how long did you have my ring before you proposed? A while. It was a while. I think it came in because that company makes them in California and then yeah. they have like a uh, six week, I don't, I don't remember exactly what it was. I think it was like, it was like September because it was near the time when my great grandmother oh, died. Before that. Was it? Wow. I had it, I had it in the summer. I got it in like July. I think you bought it in July. He sat on that ring for a good. Like I said, they they made it there and then shipped it, and it was like a I think it was a four to six week. Like yeah, I think it is. But anyway, he had the ring for a while, and I remember we were sitting in a restaurant, and I was like, he was eating, and he was so sassy about it. it was his most funny, hilarious thing. I can't even get the words out. He was sitting there, and I was like, I just don't understand. Like, do you not want to marry me? Because I knew he had the ring and had it for months. And I was so afraid that he had gotten the ring and then was like, ah, oh, no, man, I'm not, I'm not for this. She's a little crazy. So I was like, do you just not want to marry me? Like, I don't get it. And he just was like kind of ignoring me. And I was like, I, I just don't get it. Like, you know that you have to ask my dad before we get engaged. And I know you haven't done that. And you just, you must not want to marry me. And he like was eating a burger and he puts his burger down and he looks at me and he goes, I asked your dad on Sunday there. And he picked up his burger and he kept eating like he didn't say anything at all. And I was like, oh, okay. He does want to marry me. Okay, good. Um, but it was just funny. And then, so the actual day came and don't forget we have to go to the post office. Um, we used to go on dates like right before finals would start because we really didn't see each other during finals. I mean, he went to a different school than I did. So we would go on this like final date. We would be like, okay, this is our last date before finals. I'm sorry, the sun is so crazy. Um, and so we went on this date to Mirasaki in downtown Greenville. I think that's how it's pronounced. And this was normal for us. I didn't feel oh, any. Oh, I did bad. I didn't feel any different. He backed up too far. Um, I, I dressed like normal. Like someone said to me before, she was like, "Why are you so dressed up?" And I was like, "I'm going on a date." And she was like, "That dressy?" And I was like, "I didn't. I don't think I'm that dressy. I'm wearing like jeans and boots and a cute coat. My hair is done." Um, and and I just was like, "No, this is how I dress when I go on dates with my boyfriend." And he was so calm. And we went and we had our sushi and we were walking to um, spill the beans in downtown Greenville and we went by White Pavilion, which he knows I love. And like, as we were approaching it, I saw a guy jump off of the like stage that's next to it. And I was like, oh, I saw he had a camera and I was like, oh, he must like be just taking pictures. It's downtown Greenville, that's really common. Um, and that was actually our friend Steven who was there to take pictures. He, I didn't have my glasses on so I didn't see it was him, but he was like running because he saw us coming. So then Sam asked me to marry him. It was the cutest thing. I couldn't, I cried for hours. What do you have to say about that day? It was freezing, it was so cold. <laughs> it was so cold. And me I remind you, he did this the Sunday before finals start. Well, the Sunday before Hell Week is what I call it, which is the week before finals, like when you're cramming. He did this the Sunday before that. And so I was like, terrible timing, but I'll take it. And then it was seven days later, like right before finals. Oh, you have to have ovarian cyst surgery. You have a big seven centimeter sucker in there. So it was just an eventful time, but it was, it was awesome. Like just, so awesome. Um, I'm wearing pretty much what I'm wearing right now. Yeah. In a different undershirt, but. Yeah. It was, it was the best day. It was so awesome and just so like us, you know? Like some people, you see these 
like, um, what are they called? The flash mobs. Like, Sam and I would die if someone did a flash mob even near us because it's just like the craziest thing. So, like, things like that are big for us. So, it was like, it was simple, it was meaningful, it was in a place that I think is so beautiful. He had pictures, so I love it. Like, it was perfect. Um, so, I, I just, it, I can't believe it was three years ago. I can't believe we've been married for a year and a half. Can't believe he signed up for a lifetime with me. It was good timing when it happened though with you having to have surgery because I missed three right. finals and had right. to make them up. Right. I did I missed two. And we were able like I feel like when you say, Oh, my boyfriend's having surgery, like people will be like, tough. No, I when you, you went to the mean? hospital, I didn't leave the hospital with you for like almost two straight, like four uh -huh. days. Sam, when we I were didn't leave until you left. When we were in the ER. No, when we were in pre-op, um, my dad came in and he had brought food and like my brother was with me, my dad was with me. And basically they say one person to a room, but we were being very quiet and calm and there was nobody else. So there was like four or five people in my pre-op room at all times, like family, just hanging out. And it was late in the day. I mean, we had gotten there at like eight or nine that morning and we're probably talking, it's like three or four in the afternoon. I hadn't eaten. Sam refused to leave and eat until I went back to surgery because he just wasn't gonna leave me. And so he sat there starving, just like I was, um, like so hungry and he just sat with me because he was like, nope, I'm not leaving, I'll eat when she's in surgery, but I'm not leaving her right now. And so it did kind of work out because we were able to say, hey, he was able to say, hey, my fiance's having surgery and um, like they would disclose things in front of him that they, and they like wouldn't ask. They would, I'd say, this is my fiance. And they'd be like, oh, okay, so we could, we could explain what's going on in front of him and I was like yeah but it was just although it was crazy it was perfect and I just can't believe it was three years ago but all right guys so sorry you were so shaky the entire time we really need to get a gimbal tripod for the car that would make everything so much smoother but they're like $140 for like a tiny one um so we'll see but we're gonna go ahead and close out this vlog here because we have a lot of work to do for the rest of the day so thank you guys so much for watching Vlogmas Day 2, crazy, and we love you guys. We will see you in the next vlog.